Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our 5M Ready tutorial here for 5M Ready Sirens for your 5M community roleplay server that you play in. If you're tired of hearing vanilla sounds and you want to make your game a little better, you can do so by coming here to this website which will be linked down in the description below. But before you go down to the description below, if you do not have this, this will also be down there in the description below. WinRAR, if you don't have it, you're going to download it to your computers, uh, um, whatever your computers handles. I know some people have 32s, I have a 64, some people run apples and whatnot. You, this will be where you download whatever your computer needs you to run to have WinRAR and whatnot. So, but yeah, this is a 5 and ready siren. So basically, down here, if you scroll down, there's like a little option on what you need to do and whatnot. But I'm going to give you a more in-depth tutorial. Now, all of these sirens right here, which I went over a few as I was trying to listen to here on what I wanted to make my new siren, which I just changed it. But I'm going to change it again with the same exact one so you know exactly how to change it and make it different. So, if you want to know which one I went for, I went for another than this one right here. But before I play that one, I'm going to go up because one of the OG ones that I have always used in the past in a server called Indiana before some of the things went down south and me and my brother left and went to a way better community which I am really enjoying a lot of great people inside this server which I will link that down in the description below as well Scott Valley Roleplay ladies and gentlemen you're going to want to come join and have the fun that we put on over there and it's a nice community a nice server but this was the siren that I used before in Indiana multiple times because I had a business with my brother where we were mechanics and I had an old school COE tow truck and the uh, horn went very well with none other than that truck so I had a cop corner for that truck because it sounded more old school like that's what would be inside of that car and it made the sirens better for the police too especially during chases and whatnot you know or just even hearing them in general so this was the original one I had and that horn sounded so amazing with the COE truck I had and I loved the siren it was a cool pack I had it for a very very long time and I wanted something different so as you hear this is what you could choose if you decided you want to go like this or anything else that you see here on this list but this is what I originally rocked with in the GTA roleplay community which was the Colt 3 uh, Splinter Siren and um, yeah it's a good I love the horn it's amazing but then I was looking on what I wanted to change it to and we went with this beauty right here and this is what I have now that it is going to be in my server. A little more modern and I like the horn on this one as well. I love the siren and I think for Scott Valley RP to server him now. It's going to go very good well with the cars that are in the server and whatnot. And it's going to make it a little more better in my perspective of playing. And sound different than just hearing what I've heard for many, many, many months now. And now I got something different, which is this one. So, if you want, you can download all of them by clicking the download link. It will take you to a Google Doc or whatever, and you will download it there. And basically what I have done is downloaded them all. And I have made a folder. So we're going to go here. And I have on my secondary drive, which is my game drive where I have most of my games and other important stuff I want to keep. Just in case anything ever was to happen to my computer, I would have something on my drive. Now, who's to say that drive's never going to mess up in the future? It could. Hopefully it don't. But that that's my plan. Have stuff more important on my drive than the computer because I already had my computer once before take a poop on me and the drive went bad and I had to get a new drive and now it's been working ever since but knock on wood you never know so um but yeah so in my secondary uh, drive I had made a folder called sirens five and ready sirens basically and 
it has got two folders. Now, these right here are the old school sirens for none other than basically the old school police cars that maybe some days, maybe your, your server may have and may use, or maybe they do a retro night and bring some retro cars in and whatnot. I, I can't tell you for sure. I can't tell you that, um, I don't know what your server has. That would be for you to know and whatnot because you play in there. So if you would want old school with the new school, you could do so. You can click on one of these and then you could continue on with the next part we do if you decided you want to go with those ones. But if you want to go with one of these new ones right here from like modern day um, police cars and whatnot, you got many to choose from. So me, I have none other than the one right here, which is the Code 3 and then the VCon. So I got WinRAR. It tells you you may have to buy it or you don't own the license. Don't worry about that because it doesn't really affect. It really doesn't. So we're going to drag it over there and you're going to see that you have a folder. And you're going to click on that folder. You're going to bring it up. And now you got two more folders. Now at this point you could choose which siren you want. There's two different versions. There's the 3672 siren and there's the 3692 siren. I'm gonna go with this one because I want to see what this one sounds like. And if in the future uh, I don't really like it, I'm gonna see what the other one sounds like. And but as of right now, I'm going with this one. This is the one I chose, and it says resident. Okay, so now where, where, where does it go? Okay, so now this is where you're going to need to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. You don't know what a Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is? I'm going to show you what a Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is. So mine is located in games. So we're going to go back to the beginning. So you go to wherever it's located. Mine's located, as I said, in my secondary drive, games. Click. Boom. Now, as I... As you see, I got some other than some uh, folders here or whatnot, and you're basically going to then click on your Steam Library folder, or you may have an Epic Games, or you may have it in your Rockstar folder. Mine is in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. This is where you need to be. This is your main directory folder file that you need to be in. So where does the resident resident file go into? Okay, so once you're in your main directory, you're going to look for x64. Boom, right there. Click, you're going to go in. You're going to see three files you can click on. Two folder files, and then you're going to see one dat file. You don't do nothing with the dat file because you can't open it up. Data. Don't do nothing with data because you don't need to open that up. Audio, that's the folder you want, and that's what you're going to open up. Open up audio. You got SFX, and then you got two R uh, um, DF files or RPF files. D don't mess with those because you need to click on SFX. You need to go into another folder. Boom. Now you're in this folder, and if you scroll down right here to the R's and you look. You're like, hmm, radio, 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 radio. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Resident. Wait a minute. There's resident right here. Okay, so that's what you need. And that's the file that you downloaded and you got. So now I want to tell you before you drag and drop that file over, be careful on what you mess with this folder. Now me, I downloaded GTA. And before I mess with any files in this folder, I copy the whole entire SFX folder. I made a copy of my documents. So that way, if you mess it up, you could click on 5M and it could say it's not going to play because something's messed up in one of your files. Well, 9 times out of 10, you probably messed something up here. Or maybe if you're downloading mods, you did it in your mods or something. But if you're changing your police siren, and that's the reason why you messed something up, and you didn't do the correct steps, and you messed something up. So make sure you have a backup. If you already changed your files, I wouldn't really make a backup of it, because you already changed your files. You would want to have a backup of the vanilla files, stock GTA. So if anything was ever to happen, you know you would be able to revert back like I can.
to my standard GTA weapons, my standard GTA sirens and whatnot. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to be careful and make sure you find the GTA 5M uh, sirens, which I'm going to link the website so you got all the correct files you need. But if you're looking up on what other websites, be careful. You got to make sure they're 5M and compatible so that way you don't mess it up. So what you're going to do is you know this file is going to work. Just gonna come over here doesn't matter where you drag and drop it but if you're saying drag and drop it it's gonna tell you do you want to replace the file you're gonna say yep replace the file it's going to replace bada boom bada bing you're done you close out of um, your winrar and then other than that um, another file that you could change in here that if you wanted to you would go to Google you would uh, change another than the sun right here um, where is it? Right here. Uh, weapons underscore player and then RPF. So basically, for this file, you can go to GTA, um, and I mean Google, and type in GTA and 5 and then 5M and then ready and then uh, like uh, gun sounds, you know? And then you'll make sure you find the ones that are 5M ready, which mine used to be from a website when you type it in that's at the top and gta mods i believe gta mods.com or something like that gta 5 mods.com but i liked it they were just too loud I, I i loved it because they were loud at first but then it got to a point where even if you're not close to people that are having guns going off you hear them really really loudly in the distance and sometimes people's microphones because everyone doesn't got the same microphone there could be some people that don't have as much money or less unafford like you know <laughs> everyone can't have the nicest thing so sometimes they got a crappy mic you know or whatnot it's hard to hear them they're doing the best they can they like oh, they want to role play and the requirements for most servers is you need to have a mic and if they can hear you that's all they care about and they want you to have fun and that's what we want you to do on our server have fun but i mean some people don't have a good microphone so the sounds were a little loud but i found one on a discord server that i was invited to and and i got to meet some people and they helped me out and gave me some good sounds that were similar to that but muffled muffled way down where they're loud enough but not loud enough where it's going to be where i can't hear people so if you want to change that just make sure it's the weapons rpf make sure it's 5m ready but other than that don't really mess with these other files you don't need to and if you could find files that uh you could change the stuff out with if you're a police i know some some of the police radios and whatnot you could change change around or whatnot for like even if you play uh lspdfr but i mean the two main files is resident and then the weapons rpf so other than that once you change it then you're going to go into your game you're going to close this you don't need your gta5 directory and you don't need that so i changed mine to the code 3 3 um the code 3 vcon so if i was to get in the game this is exactly what it would sound like right here. So, this is how to change your GTA 5, 5M uh, roleplay sirens for the police cars to make your immersion a little bit more different and better for whatever server you're playing in. I hope you enjoyed this. As I say, the links to the description to other than the 5M website right here where you can get all of these sirens which i downloaded them all you don't have to i did and i put them all in a folder but this is the website right here 5m ready sirens and then the link to the the um the uh another than winrar you know so if you don't got it you can get it and that's what you need so you could be able to get those files out and drag and drop them over or even our discord server for another than scott valley roleplay so if you would like to join, we'd love to see you there. Um, give us some good legit RP like all of us are giving the server. And all of us as community are enjoying and liking and loving. And you'll get to see all these amazing people put on some good RP. And you could join us and we could put some good RP, some good RP on with you, you know. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, 
don't forget to like comment share subscribe more videos are coming out next year's gonna get bigger better with the whole youtube change and everything it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year other than that ladies and gentlemen as i say i'll see you guys next time